how do you share a YouTube video like on social media, like Facebook or LinkedIn or something and have the right thumbnail image show up or have it show up at all? So one of the situations may be that you're trying to share the video right after you've uploaded it. If, if you're sharing it within, let's say, I'm going to say safely, six hours after you uploaded it on social media, thumbnail is not going to show because the thumbnail hasn't been processed yet. It takes hours for the video to be processed and therefore the thumbnail to be, unless you, you up, you've uploaded a custom thumbnail. You know how when you, I'm gonna go share my screen now. Okay, so for example, I, I've uploaded this video. I've, I've added a custom thumbnail, so that way, you know, the thumbnail will show up right away. Well, okay, so I, I have to show you something called Facebook and LinkedIn debugging tools. These are, this is not programming. This is really, really simple. Those of us who are not techie will be able to use it. I'll show you what I mean. But basically, if you upload a custom thumbnail and then use the debugging tool, you can share your video to Facebook or LinkedIn or other places right away and have the thumbnail, sh have the thumbnail properly show up. But if you're just waiting for the natural thumbnail, you know how YouTube gives you a couple natural thumbnails, like the ones they just take it out of your video you're gonna to have to wait several hours for those to show up and then come back to the editing mode of that video and, and select the thumbnail that you want. I mean, th these two are probably okay, um, but I uploaded one anyway. So how do you use the Facebook and LinkedIn debugging tool? Let me go ahead and show you. Go to Google and search Facebook debug, okay? Facebook debugging will bring you to a tool called Sharing Debugger. Okay, meta for developers sounds really advanced. I am not a programmer, I'm not a developer. Anyway, sharing debugger, you click on it, okay? And it's developers.facebook.com slash tools slash debug. Anyway, I might I need to put the link below or whatever. But when you come here, you basically put the link, your YouTube link in here. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So you, you, get, your, you, you get your YouTube URL. You can get that when you, when you are in the edit mode of your YouTube video after you've uploaded it, it gives you a video link, right? It gives you a video link. Okay, video links sometimes look like this. This is the shortened YouTube video link, u.be. This is just YouTube's short. They, they have a short link that works the same as a long link. Uh, you could do it like that. Or the most secure way of getting, not the most secure, the most reliable way of getting your, your YouTube link. The, the problem some of you might be doing is, you might be sharing the editing link. Like you're you're uploading your video, right? You're uploading your video and you're actually in the edit mode of the video, not the watch mode. And in the edit mode, you might be sharing the edit link. That link is private to you. Nobody can access to your editing of your videos except for you. You are the manager of your channel. So that might be the problem. You're sharing the wrong link. Um, so go to the video and play it, the, play the video itself. So I'm going to I'm just, however you go to your video, okay? So go, go to your video, making sure you're, you're playing the video, making sure it's a public video. And uh, that's the other thing that your, your video might not work because it's not public. But anyway, your visibility should be public. You know, it's already posted, not just scheduled, but already available for anyone in the world to, to check. And if you ever want to, to, to curious about that, okay, so first of all, go to your video, click on the share button and click copy, okay? You could... I don't usually use any of these links because I'm like, why am I clicking on these links when I can just click copy, go to those places and post it myself. I just trust that more just because I like to go to the place and, and use the usual posting process to post it rather than using these links, which are supposed to make it easier. But I don't think it makes it easier. I just think it, I'm just not even sure where I am. If I click on this, like, where am I? What, what, what's going to happen right now when I click on this link, right? Like, where am I share? I mean, I'm just not quite sure. This is not usually how we see when we go to Facebook, right? So I like to click, I like, again, I like to, under my video where I can play it, I click the share button, I click copy, so that's the link. Again, that's the long link, okay? But it works the same, okay? Click copy. You go to your Facebook or whatever. You go to your Facebook or, or wherever, and then you paste it in there, okay? You, you, paste, you paste it in there, and it'll naturally show whatever it is. Now, uh, like I said, if, you're, if your thumbnail is not showing up for whatever reason, you go to Facebook debugger, sharing debugger, okay? You paste your YouTube thing in, your YouTube link in. You press enter, you can press debug or press enter, press enter. And then it'll say the last time it was scraped, meaning the last time the Facebook bot scraped that URL, scraped meaning get information from that URL was 19 seconds ago because I've never shared it on Facebook before. I literally just showed you 19 seconds ago when I when I went there and I, and I, and I, and I tried to share it. 
Um, but if, if it was time scraped, it was like, you know, minutes or, or sorry, hours or weeks ago or whatever, you can click scrape again. And Facebook bot will like go and get the information from that YouTube video again to say, Hey, this is the thumbnail we see. This is the title we see. And again, like I said, if you have uploaded your video very recently and you didn't upload your custom thumbnail, you need to wait hours before the custom thumbnail has been naturally done. Now, one thing I want you to know is you know, sometimes you're like, well, I'm not sure if my video is publicly published or viewable. You can get the link and open an incognito window or private browsing window, you know, um, and then try to go to the link in an incognito or private browsing window and see if you can view it. That means you're not logged into your YouTube account as a, as a, as a random internet visitor. Are you able to see it? So that's that's Facebook debug. Same thing with LinkedIn. LinkedIn de debug, right? Same thing. It's called Post Inspector on LinkedIn. You go there, same same idea. You put it in here. You click Inspect, and LinkedIn basically pulls that information. And what it what it's doing when it's pulling that information, what Facebook debugger and LinkedIn Post Inspector are doing, is they are pulling the information and then they're updating their own database to say next time the link is shared, please use this information. So that's how you do it. I hope this is helpful. Thanks.